Uh, you like you're like to talk to the table. And usually the table's awesome, but usually you're not feeling comfortable when you're talking to the table. It means one of two things. You're someone that doesn't like to look in other people's eyes when you talk. The other part of it is your brain's trying to catch up with what you're trying to say, and so the table helps you think because your brain doesn't have to focus on him. I'm going to say it's the second, right? Okay. What you can end up doing is learn a technique where you're looking at him, but you don't see him and it's just a very sleight of eye. You may not want to look at him because it distracts your brain, so you can look just slightly here, slightly here. But your eyes from the camera, it looks like you're looking at him. What kind of pictures do you choose for your dating app profile? Well, first of all, Alex, thank you so much for having me here at Newsy. Okay. It's great to be with you okay. guys. Okay, did you, what did you just do? I planned out you I mean, wasted. I wasted time. You wasted so, time. Yeah. They, it, they, they are, you don't need to say thank you. You can save the plight. You can sure. say, you, or if you could say thank you, mm -hmm. but that's just, it just wastes time. You got a minute 30. The audience isn't here to learn that you're thankful that you're on her show. The audience really wants to know what's on your dating app. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're like, tell me. <laughs> and so what you did was, you, she just set up the audience. He's going to give us the best secret ever to learn how to get the most dates possible. And they're like, I'm ready. And you're like, thank you for having me on the show. My question is, and you may just bring this because you didn't want to leave your notes for other people to steal out there. No, I wanted to take notes. Okay, you wanted to. <laughs> But let's say you wanted to bring your notes for the interview. This doesn't happen as much with journalists, but it does happen with a lot of think tank folks that'll come on. So you know, you're like, I need my notes. My question for you is, <coughs> do you really need your notes? Because if you've reported this the way you should have reported this, and you're doing a short, you're not doing a 20-minute segment, you should know this material. And probably 90% of the time, this is a crutch. You'll okay. never. How often do you see people on notes on TV that they actually look at the darn notes? No, it's your safety blanket. When is it appropriate to bring notes? <laughs> Which you may just want to write stuff as we're going on. But when is it safe to bring notes? When should you bring notes? You're dealing with very specific numbers is usually the reason you need to know an exact number. You can't say about 60,000. You need to know precisely. Earnings reports sometimes will be one where they want the exact notes because that does make a difference. OK, bring your notes, especially because not all of us are quantitative oriented and we can't just spout off numbers accurately. So you have to bring your notes. It's actually worth investing in some beige paper. OK. Just hmm. Can I make notes. a note of that on my, yeah. <laughs> my paper? <laughs> Staples has it, totally reasonable price. And then the question is, do you need an 8.5 by 11? for your, all your notes. You have that many numbers? Probably not. You could probably reduce it. Look at that. That's yeah. even better. What's even better than that? An index card. That. Yeah. Yep. You can even make your own index card with ribbon. Right. So there we go. <coughs> that looks much better. So uh, the question for David is, does he really want need his pen? I'm enjoying having it in my hand. <laughs> OK. It feels good? It does. OK. I, I could try without it. Yeah, it looks better without it. Okay. Because there's no paper, and usually pen goes with paper, so it's probably a little bit of a comfort safety blanket, or else you just forgot. So right. if you don't need a pen, it cleans up the shot, focuses us, us on you, especially if you get distracted and start playing with it by accident. For ladies, it's important to remember, especially as dresses be you know, become more popular, it's really good when you go to do interviews um, to dress in layers, to have you know, a camisole or shirt with a jacket, or if you wear a dress, um, have a jacket over the dress, unless you want to be really friendly with a lot of crew guys. And so I just always say, you know, think about where the camera's going to go. I mean, obviously, I didn't dress for it with this. But anyway, or you can, in your case, you, if someone wanted to come and wire you up, you'd only have to take off your jacket. and not have everyone get in your business, which isn't a lot of fun sometimes if they aren't a woman um, on the crew. Well, there's not a lot going on with pre uh, Tulsi Gabbard's presidential bid right now in Hawaii. Um, I think it's because a lot of people in Hawaii are kind of curious as to why she's running in the first place. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. 
two, two good things to talk about. One is you did have a slip up, right? Mm -hmm. And rather than a lot of drama, reaction, or restarting the sentence and starting again, you just kept going for it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. You don't awesome. want to draw more attention to those, and they happen all the time. Just keep going. The other part of it, for those who are watching, you had a change in tone. So you gave us the first part of the answer. You took a pause, and then you gave us the second part of the answer so the audience could catch up with what you were saying. Now, in the next case is if you want to continue, um, you'd already hit the natural end of your answer when you ended it. Some people will say, I need to keep talking. Here's the important thing, is when you run out of breath, it's a good time to stop talking. You have a cadence. No matter mm. what the answer is, it's always going yeah. to have the same. That's why I had to have you answer two questions, because I didn't know if that cadence was just reserved into the first one. But you repeated it the same. Yeah, How do you deal with that, that, right? Because it's part of it's just how I have it too. We get into patterns of communication. Having a cadence lets us sync while we talk. Happy birthday. So let's get up. <laughs> that breaks the cadence. What is your favorite food to eat? Okay, so right back. there, I haven't been picking on the person asking the question much, but I will to, to mix it up here for Great. us. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, if you noticed, your body is faced this way, she is there, and when you watch the tape, you've turned your head, which like may put you in this weird situation. So, either you and your chair adjust slightly, or you adjust in your chair slightly. There you go. Yeah. Do you have tips for when you're doing like a head-on interview, like not with someone in a studio? Because it's happened mm -hmm. a lot like in the office camera going yeah. on and being like, how am I going to stop being stiff? It's the, well, it's the mind game of actually playing the mind like who do I see in that camera? And, and talking to that camera, either the camera becomes a person and you have a really good conversation with it, or you see someone that you know in that camera, but it helps re reduce the stiffness because a lot of times it's people looking in the camera instead of looking in and seeing a person in the camera. Okay. For sparking a measles outbreak in certain pockets of the United States, um, I spoke okay, to people. Okay, here, here we go. That was a perfect. Sometimes ums mm -hmm. are secret ways of telling you you should stop. If you feel an um coming on, and what would it, when you watch this back, you could have ended, ended your answer right then mm -hmm. and there. Why? It was the first answer. We want to keep that short anyway. Okay. Two, there was a longer pause. And three, the um came out, which meant you were trying to think to fill up time. Yeah.